This represents a cell in interphase. The nucleus is intact and contains chromatin. This network of dark material is meant to represent chromatin. This shows prophase. You now have distinct chromosomes. Each one of these objects would have a pair of centrioles. Because centrioles are the location where the microtubules are produced, you can see the microtubules radiating out from each of these locations. A little bit later in the process, the pairs of centrioles have moved further from one another, continuing to produce microtubules, and you can see the microtubules spanning one to the other. These microtubules are going to form what is called a spindle apparatus, which is going to enable the cell to move these chromosomes around. This is metaphase. The centrioles have moved to opposite poles in the cell. The microtubules are radiating from one to the other and form this spindle apparatus. These microtubules are going to push and pull these chromosomes so that they will become aligned at a plane in the middle. This is referred to as the metaphase plate or the equatorial plate. Each of these replicated chromosomes, which are called chromatids, are going to separate from one another and they're going to be moved to either end of the cell by means of these microtubules. Anaphase is characterized by the actual separation of the chromatids from one another. They're being pulled by these kinetochore microtubules which attach to the kinetochores. Notice that there are microtubules radiating out from each centriole. These are referred to as aster microtubules because they kind of appear like a star in the way that the microtubules radiate out from all directions. This shows the final phase of mitosis telophase, where the chromosomes have now separated from one another, moved to opposite ends of the cell. You can still see that microtubules of the spindle apparatus are connecting the two regions where the chromosomes have moved. The process of cytokinesis, where the cell actually starts to divide, is represented here by this cleavage furrow that you can see on either side of this model. This is the very end of telophase, and you can tell that because the chromosomes are no longer distinct, and the chromosomal material now appears as chromatin in the reorganizing nuclei.